Hey, what's up guys, Exalted here, and today I have a pretty sweet video for you because in today's video, I'm gonna be showing you guys my custom keybinds. Now, the cool thing about these new custom keybinds is it allows you to do one thing that I've been looking forward to for a really long time, and that's gonna be instant editing. Um, at the moment, because this did just come out today, it's a little buggy when it comes to just instant editing. Uh, the reason why it's buggy is because if you see right here in the bottom left, I push in my left thumbstick to start the edit, but it doesn't let you confirm the edit with the left thumbstick. You have to go back, you have to click B to confirm the edit. So at the moment, you get the instant edit, you make the edit, and then you confirm it with B. For you guys, um, B is probably going to be right here. It's going to be switch mode slash edit. So you can do both. I switched mine to just switch mode. So that's switch between building and shooting mode. I changed it to just that because I thought it would fix it. Um, but it has not yet. They're going to be fixing this really soon. But what it does is it's helping me get used to pressing L for edit because in this situation if you have it here you can still continue to press B so I'm trying to get used to clicking a uh, left uh, L1 for edit now the only way you can do this is if you have this setting on let me find it sprint by default sprint by default will make it so that you're always sprinting um, instead of double clicking in or pressing in your uh, your thumbstick, your move thumbstick, it'll automatically just make you sprint, which is super nice. I love it a ton because it kind of makes your hands much more relaxed. It makes it a lot easier to um, click the buttons you want to click. It makes you much more efficient. And I kind of noticed a huge improvement in my gameplay overall just because my hands, at least my left hand, was much more relaxed instead of constantly just like gripping the controller and like pushing it in 24 seven. So definitely, you're definitely going to want to turn on um, sprint by default that needs to be on and then when you come here you can make this push in L you can make that edit that way you'll have instant editing um, so now for auto sprint what I did is I just selected it to uh, this button pad which is usually comms and then I switched comms squad comms to this one which is nothing so this one was never really uh, this was just like a dead button. This button didn't really do anything. So I switched comms and I switched sprint so that with my right hand, I could click sprint while I'm sprinting with my left thumb. Um, so that's working out really well. It's actually a lot easier because I haven't really noticed myself. I don't know if you guys use controller. You notice that when you're trying to do auto sprint, a lot of times you'll double click it, let go. And because of the momentum from the, uh, from the thumbstick, it'll like go backwards a little bit and cancel the sprint. I haven't really had that issue yet, especially with, um, especially with, uh, auto sprint or auto. Yeah. Auto sprint. So that's really nice. Um, aside from that, I haven't really changed anything. I'm definitely going to be looking around to see what I can do. I was thinking about changing the crouch to the instant edit and kind of messing around with it. But for now, this is working really, really well. Um, once Epic does fix the edit thing. So instead of just clicking, so instead of clicking edit and then to confirm the edit clicking B, you'll be able to click edit and then confirm the edit with edit. It'll be super, super nice. You will have instant editing. It'll put you on the level of PC players. It'll be very, very, very useful. And of course I am on Builder Pro. I do use Builder Pro. I feel like it's the easiest. Um, and I guess the rest of my settings are, I do use this colorblind mode. Um, I try to keep all this about the same. Uh, my brightness, I turn up the brightness so I can see things easier. And then I use a 9.8 controller sensitivity with a 0.4 target and a 0.55 scope. So that's going to be everything for you guys today. Thank you so much for watching this. Um, I hope these, I hope this uh, custom keybinds helps you out. I know it's helping me out like crazy. I actually love it a ton. Um, but with that being said, if you guys enjoyed the video, please hit the sub button. It means a lot. I'm about to hit 2300 subs. And thank you guys for watching. Peace.